You know, I just don't get it. How is that even possible? Well, what I mean is, how is it possible you don't like their lemon cake? It's amazing. It's literally perfect. How could you possibly not like it? Too sweet. There's absolutely no such thing as too sweet. Especially not when it comes to a lemon cake. Besides, you always tell me you love lemon cake. So what's the sudden change of mind? <laughs> but this is your favorite bakery. Everything they have here is your favorite. If they don't have the best lemon cake, who does? <laughs> Aw, really? You mean that? <laughs> well, I'm flattered. Or I would be, if I didn't know that you were just trying to butter me up so I'd make you lemon cake for you. But, I suppose if you don't like the lemon cake, then you wouldn't mind if I eat the rest of yours, will you? Gotta say, the chocolate is one of their best. You made a great choice there. Hey, give her that back. I was eating that. You said you didn't like their cake, so I was doing you a favor. Well, if you don't respect the superiority of their lemon cake, then you don't deserve to eat any of their cake. So there. <laughs> Fine. But only because I'm the one who can beat them. <laughs> but really, the chocolate cake is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda wish I got that instead. You know the coffee cake is great. I just didn't realize I was craving chocolate until I had a bite of yours. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. Well, most of the time anyway. For some reason, apparently I have a particularly strong craving for chocolate today. Really? You haven't? <laughs> You're missing out. It's so good. Here, try a bite of mine. Good, right? <laughs> I told you. The coffee cake is like the best ever. It's basically heaven on earth. The crumbly stuff on top is addictive, isn't it? I think it's cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. You want to just share both of them? That way we can get the best of both worlds. <laughs> I know, every time I say that, I think of the theme song too. I'm trying not to think about it, or I'll get it stuck in my head. <laughs> and let's change the subject so we don't keep thinking about it. How's your week going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine's... About the same as ever. Work was good, but... I mean, it sucked. <laughs> nah, it's... Every day. Um... Neighbors had a party last night. So, <laughs> I'm tired as hell. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> my apartment's a mess, because the vacuum broke, and... I don't need to wait till I get paid to get a new one. But... The first part of it, part of all, was definitely missing out on our movie night a few days ago. Yeah, I uh, had a date with a girl I met on, um, well, whichever dating app it was. You know what? It was, it was, uh, not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. Very terrible. <laughs> I kept trying to start conversation with her, but she just gave me this, these short answers and I, I couldn't respond to it. It was the single drass, most boring conversation I ever had. She refused to try to start a conversation herself. Then, like, halfway through the date, she just went outside to take a phone call for 30 minutes. Can you believe it? 
Like I said, it was bad. I ended up asking for the check and even before she came back in. I meant to text you about it, but I was just so exhausted from carrying the weight of every single conversation that I just collapsed in bed. I swear, I got the best sleep out in months just because I was so tired from just how much of a workout that date was. <laughs> hmm. Seriously. It was awful. Just like the last 30,000 dates I've been on. <laughs> I know, right? Like, just going on dates, trying to find someone I genuinely want to be with, and... It seems like I can't find anyone who's looking for the same thing. It's not like I mind that we're looking for different things. Sometimes it's fine to go on, on a date with someone just for a fun night out, but now... Now I'm kind of tired of all that, you know? Sometimes I kind of wish y'all never told me to try them out. <laughs> Asking the hard one question now, huh? Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, it might have something to do with that, all that. It's just, everyone keeps asking me, do you have a special friend? And so when are you going to introduce us to your special friend? <laughs> I know, it sounds so stupid. Special friend. It's like I'm a kid with my first crush. I think they were just trying to be subtle about it. But it might be the like, least subtle term I ever heard. I might as well just ask, so do you have a friend that you kiss in a romantic way? But I guess it's not as catchy. It does, and I can't convince him to stop. But the worst part is that, even though it's annoying, it's more like I'm more annoyed at them for pointing out than anything else. Because I do want to have someone like that in my life. It just... Hasn't worked out. You know? Everyone I've gone on with has so far has been either not looking for a relationship, someone... Someone I'm not compatible with, or... <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah. Basically, it's only been that they're not looking for a relationship or... We're not compatible. That, 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 that's um, pretty much it. I'm, I mean, there's been a couple other things, but those don't really matter. N no, really, it's, it's nothing important. <laughs> that's, I promise, it's, it's something stupid. It, it, it really doesn't matter. Come on, it's, it's really nothing. I swear. <sighs> You're not gonna stop asking until I tell you, are you? <laughs> I should've figured. You're way too stubborn to let anything like that go. I am calling you stubborn. Are you gonna try to deny it? Like I said. You're stubborn. Very stubborn, in fact. <laughs> yes, I am trying to change the subject. Thank you for asking. What do you think I should change it to? <laughs> <sighs> Fine. There's no void in it, is there? I was going to say, the other reason that I couldn't find anyone that would be in any relationship with me is because I'm... Um, because, um, it's because they thought I already had a special friend, if you catch my drift. 
<laughs> oh god, I know. It's not really subtle, subtle at all. I don't even know why I say it like that, but I guess that's the only way to put it into circumstance, given how they were all talking about it. Apparently, when I was talking to them about friends and hobbies and what I do in my free time, they thought I was talking a bit too much about my friends. To be specific, they said I was talking a lot about one of my friends. Or, as one of my dates put it, the friend I clearly have a crush on. She just wouldn't stop insisting that that it seemed like I was trying to ignore my feelings. So weird. Actually, it's just the date I went on this week. They decided pretty quickly that I wasn't interested in them just just because I mentioned that I liked hanging out with you more than anyone else. I, I mean, just because I prefer being around you more than anyone else and had a crush on you for a while doesn't mean that I... You know. But, you knew that. We both had crushes on each other before. But apparently, my dates don't, and we still did. Or at least that I still did. Well, um, it might not actually not be that far-fetched if you want to know the truth. Listen, there's something that I've been thinking about, and it's about time that I got the nerve to tell you. So like I told you, I've been looking for a deeper relationship for a while. I, I want to actually be with someone. A little while after I started going on these dates, one of them pointed out that I talk about you a lot for someone that isn't romantically involved. At first, I kind of laughed it off. It seemed a bit silly. I thought we had those crushes on each other so long ago. But the more I started to think about it, the more I started to think about you. And well, us. I started to think about how well we get along, how much I like spending time with you. Then <laughs> I started to wonder what it'd be like if we were to push our relationship a little further. First, I just thought about hugging you for a bit longer than we usually do. Then I thought about holding you, like pulling you close during movie night and Staying like that. Then I wondered how would it feel to kiss you? To feel that connected to you. <laughs> and, ever, and ever since I started thinking about that, I haven't stopped thinking about it. You've been on my mind almost constantly, and honestly, I honestly really like it. I like thinking about you like that, you know, in a romantic way. Feeling like this for you feels more natural than it did with any of the dates I went on, and I don't really want to feel like this for anyone else. I, uh, I actually deleted all those apps because I don't even want to think about dating anyone else. I said date this week. I, I knew that I couldn't find anyone I wanted to be with more than you. So, I guess what I'm saying is I do have feelings for you. I have a crush on you. <laughs> Again. 
Um, are you gonna say anything? Huh. Well, that, that's not what I expected. You're smiling at me. Like, a real smile. <laughs> yes, obviously I'm smiling. You're smiling at me like you're gonna say that you want to date me too, so of course I'm gonna smile. <laughs> well, I'm eager to say something or... Like what? What do you want me to ask you? <laughs> really? You're really gonna make me ask you that? Alright. Fine. <laughs> Will you, my dearest friend, do me the honor of being my special friend? <laughs> oh my god, that was... Gotta say, that was maybe the least romantic way to ask someone out, ever. <laughs> Can't believe you made me ask you that. Oh yeah? And what are you gonna give me in return? <sighs> now that's a trade I could get used to. But, uh, <laughs> I think we're getting some looks from everyone in here. Why don't we go for a walk in the park? That way we can sneak a few more kisses on our date. Yeah, this is a date. What, does going to a bakery then walking through the park not sound like a date to you? Exactly. Now come on, hold my hand and let's go back to our date. Yeah, I want to hold your hand. I have a crush on you. Holding your hand is the first thought I have every single morning. Now give it here. Oh wait. One more thing. Yep. <laughs> give me one more kiss, and then we can go. Perfect. Now let's go. Our date awaits. <laughs>